should have heated it for a little bit longer. It is about like 6 p.m. right now and I just woke up. I did work overnight last night so I got home like around like eight-ish I think the traffic this morning was insane like I legit almost got like a panic attack I just hate driving um, back home in the mornings whenever I have to work overnight I feel just because like I am so tired and I'm just so like out of it my body is just like begging for sleep and rest so it just gives me like major anxiety whenever I am on the way back home after a very long overnight shift. Yeah, the drive was horrible, but nonetheless, I made it home and I didn't fall asleep. I've been noticing that the only way that I get sleepy whenever I get home from work and like I can actually sleep because most of the time I'm just like thinking, overthinking, my anxiety kicks in and I just can't sleep in peace. So most of the time what I've been doing, I've just been listening to like ASMR videos on YouTube and that's what's been putting me to sleep, no lie, like honestly. I did have a couple of plans today. I was gonna go like grocery shopping because I have not grocery shopped in so long, you guys. Like that's a freaking shame, for real. I was gonna go return some stuff from Target that I got the other day. I really don't wanna do anything. Like I am just so freaking tired i just i just want to like just sit here and do nothing honestly i had some leftover panda express from yesterday as well so i'm gonna eat this i'm gonna have my coffee because i went to shipley's this morning oh yeah i forgot to say that i went to shipley's before coming home so i got some kolaches and a coffee which i should have finished it already but i didn't by the way if you guys have not tried um Shipley's coffee, like just like a regular hot coffee, you definitely should because it is so good. It kind of reminds me of, it's not as good as the House of Pies one, but it reminds me of the House of Pies. This is like the craziest angle ever, but by the way, if I look a little cry cry because I'm wearing my glasses, no makeup. I actually put on this mask um, this morning and it kind of irritated my skin, no lie. I just be doing whatever to my skin, which I need to be careful about because I just be trying new things like it's nothing, you know, but I've came to a realization that my skin is very sensitive, so I have to just kind of calm down with that. Oh my god, look, I love saucy things, you guys. Don't that look so good? Oh my god. Really? Mmm. Mmm. So good. It's a little spicy, and then drinking coffee, that mix is just like, no bueno, but. Oh, now it's hot. Okay. I know for a fact this angle is not appealing whatsoever. So I have an idea of what I'm going to do later on. I totally forgot that I ran to Target um, a couple of days ago, and I picked up some hair dye because I do want to dye my hair again, plus my gray hairs are like peeking through so I need to hide those babies. I also want to try out that new strainer that I got in PR. Um, I still have not tried it so I'm curious to see how that's gonna work so I'm excited about that. I just completely like forgot. I don't even remember the last time I straightened my hair you guys. It's been a while so I am excited to see and also my hair has been like growing so much. If you guys are OG beauty babes you know that back 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 in the day my hair was so long you guys like my hair literally went past my booty like that's just how long my hair was. But since yesterday you guys right now what I'm doing I'm sitting on my couch obviously and I just want to binge watch the hills because since yesterday I just been obsessing over the hills and it's crazy because i thought i had hulu but for some reason it says that i don't so i don't know if i should like pay for hulu or what should i do because like i really 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 want to watch the hills i honestly feel like that sounds like a plan just like give myself two hours to watch this then clean my bathroom dye my hair wash my hair and straighten it to why I did that just now. I don't know. Wait, should I dye my hair then clean my bathroom? Or should I clean my bathroom and dye my hair? Oh my god, you guys. We are in. We are in. Look at this. I made it happen. We are in. I am so excited. Oh my god. You guys have no freaking idea how excited I am. So last night, I didn't even pick up the camera after... 
discovering that I could be watching The Hills all night. So that's exactly what I did. All of a sudden I realized like, damn, I've been watching the show for three hours. I need to go ahead and just like clean up my bathroom and stuff. Cause that's exactly what I wanted to do in the first place. My bathroom is cleaned now. After I cleaned my bathroom, like I really went in like deep. Today was a long day. I am tired. I honestly just like want to take my makeup off. Like I'm just not into it right now. Do you guys dread taking your makeup off too? Or is it just me? Because it is like my least favorite thing to do at night like once i get home i literally just want to get to bed and just like binge watch the hills sometimes i forget that i'm wearing makeup and of course i have to like i don't know like i can't sleep with makeup like it's just a very uncomfortable feeling it kind of feels almost like i don't know like i'm wearing a mask because like i am wearing a mask you know but like last night i started using my curology um prescription i must say so i started using it you get three little bottles like this one is the actual like uh, medication and then you have the moisturizer and then you have the cleanser and no lie yesterday i used the cleanser to like kind of just wash my face and stuff in it actually felt so so good and it also made my pores kind of disappear a little bit so i was excited about that and yes i am still wearing the exact same hoodie as yesterday because like why would i waste a hoodie you know like honestly like i can't even last like i can't last with lashes like i just don't understand what i'm doing wrong ow oh that kind of hurt and i feel like every time that i brush them like they fall off like what the fuck you know i don't fucking know welcome to another day in the vlog i haven't vlogged in a couple of days you guys i've been like so busy i honestly have been like on a six no eight i've been on an eight day stretch meaning i have been working eight days straight and it's been killing your girl like it's just been so busy and i know i told you guys last time that i was gonna take you guys to work and stuff but that didn't happen obviously i am so sorry and this is around the time where like work gets busy we're doing things 24 7 so i really don't have time to actually like pull out a camera and like vlog like what i'm doing because i'm just running around 24 7. i really just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about a few things and one of those things is um this bracelet right here that i'm wearing and the reason why i want to talk about it is because a couple of days ago I posted on my Instagram story and um, I posted me like posing I don't know I was like posing and like you can see my bracelet and my watch in that and a lot of you guys were like mad salty like you guys don't understand sometimes I really really try my best to like stay away from social media because it's just so much negativity and like people are just people are ugly period and I feel like that part of the spectrum is like just like a, a such a dark space that I really just you know, I, ju I just want to stay away from it. So that is why I'm just not as active as most of you guys would want me to be. I just try my best to kind of like, you know, live in the moment and actually live in reality because social media is so far from reality. Like that's just, that's a fantasy. Like social media is a fantasy. It's not like real life, you know? But anyway, um, I posted that Instagram story and I instantly got such ugly messages like, some of y'all really be thinking y'all know somebody off of like social media not even that and i honestly like don't see the point like you're really leaving like hate comments you are really going out your way to attack someone behind the screen um but like for what honestly for what i'm still living the great life that god blessed me to live i'm i'm worried about me at the end of the day i'm not losing any sleep over any of y'all so why are you losing sleep over me these messages that i got you guys they're so freaking annoying that they make me laugh but i just i just want to let you guys have a little feel of what i go through you are a prostitute you prostitute yourself you're a sugar baby you have a sugar daddy you have sugar daddies you have men who buy you stuff what do you do with your life youtube is not your only job what do you do with that you can't be making that much money on youtube you can't be making that much money working oh my god you're wearing a rolex you must come from money what does your dad do you come from money but you just don't want to tell anybody you're rich your family's rich what do you do how can you afford a rolex how do you afford a cartier how do you afford these bracelets do you 
you know how much those bracelets are? Oh my god, Alex, those bracelets are like six, ten thousand dollars. You have that much money. Even if I did have that kind of money or even if i could afford these nice things that has nothing to do with you you don't attack someone because they have nice things like what kind of why but news flash let me tell you all something let me get you in on a little secret if you scoot up just scoot up just scoot up just a little bit more yeah right there yeah right there it's fake okay it is fake. wait hold on it is not fake let me show you something hold on i'll be right back hold on let me show y'all something real quick. This is the watch that I was wearing on that Instagram story. Look, it looks nice, doesn't it? Mmm, fancy. But does that look like a Rolex to y'all? Is that a Rolex? Is that, it's a fossil watch. I mean, it kind of does make me feel good that most of you guys like thought this was real and like really thought that I can afford a $10,000 bracelet like if I like something and I find it very intriguing and I really do like the design and whatnot, and I just can't afford the real thing, I'm gonna get something that looks just like it, but that I can afford. But yes, this is a Cartier Love Bracelet Bangle Dupe. I actually got this from one of my friends. He actually owns a jewelry shop in California and he actually designed it and he actually makes these and they look so good. This is, I got two because I don't know, I just wanted two, but I honestly just like the way one looks. But I just wanna show you guys a closer look on how it looks. Like, look how beautiful this bracelet is, you guys. And it actually does come with the little screwdriver, you guys, cause it is just like the Cartier. Like you actually need to like unscrew it and stuff. But I wanna show you really quick. Look at the inside of the bracelet. Can you guys see that? It actually says Cartier and it's like engraved in there and there's like numbers. Do you guys see that? I really am obsessed with this bracelet. Like it's just so beautiful and it's actually really, 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 really great quality. Like look at that. It's just absolutely stunning. And my friend, the one that designs this, he's very low key. So like he really doesn't sell like a lot. Um, he only sells like a limited amounts of bracelets. And one thing that like people just don't understand is that I'm not just getting it because it's Cartier. Like, I mean, of course that's like a huge thing, but I am truly a fan of the design of this bracelet. I love like the little screwdriver thingies. I love the bangle. I love the design. I just love the look of it. And I also got some rings. Again, he designed them as well. And he actually did two. I actually got this gold ring right here, which looks so, so good. And this one actually does say Cartier. He engraved it in there. I don't know if you guys can see. He engraved it in there as well. Then the silver one too. This is the way the silver one looks. And this one, he actually didn't engrave it because I asked him not to engrave this one just to kind of see like how it would look. I love the way they look. Obviously, I don't have my nails done, so it doesn't look as good. But once I get my nails done, I'm pretty sure it's going to look so, so, so nice. He did get these little bags as well, and they say Cartier. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? He actually like, really want to make it like a dupe, so he sent me all these pieces in this little jewelry bag right here. And the reason why I wanted to show you guys is because one, a lot of you guys asked where I got them from. I know Amazon used to sell them, but like they're really, really taking down like every seller that sells like, um, like inspired dupe jewelry, I guess. But my friend will be taking orders. So if you guys are interested in some of these pieces, like the bangle bracelet and the rings, just send me a DM on Instagram, you guys. He did charge me about, I think it was like 20, $25 for the bracelet and then for the rings it was about $15 but um I'll just get like a set price from him and I'll let you guys know so again if you guys are interested just shoot me an Instagram DM and I will let you guys know if you'll be able to take orders y'all already know I'm gonna hook y'all up we're both gonna be looking at bougie but on a budget so I'm just gonna end this vlog here you guys I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next vlog